Right, now then, the old China balls and plates, and welcome to the guide. I want a broken sword arm. You want a broken sword arm. He, she, we wants a broken sword arm, and I'm going to teach you how. Before we start this, though, broken sword arm is far, far, far easier than it sounds. I really believe anyone watching this can do it, and I really want you to try this. When I first started doing this, it was like a 40 minute fight, but I have progressed it down to my own PB of 6 minutes 40. You might be wondering what PB means. It means piss the bed, and I know you want to piss the bed too, so. <laughs> Before we get into the fight, I'm just going to show the build because I know people are going to ask even though I just film my inventory with a bunch of random shit. But it is possible and I would recommend getting the broken sword to a plus 9. This can be done by beating Pontiff, collecting these ashes, giving the ashes to the handmaiden, buying 12 large titanite, then going dancer early and finally doing a chunk run around the garden and the high wall for the plus 9 and the fucking raw infusion. I'm not going to show you the full chunk run because this isn't a titanite guide, it's a yarm guide. Google it yourself you lazy bastard. And lastly, getting the zambler blah 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 the ashes right before yarn and give it to the handmaiden. This gives us both gold pine resin and the gold pine bundle and we will be using both. Other than that, just level health a bunch to like 30 or 40, that's fucking fine. I level decks because I like triggering people and fill your rings and armor with just a bunch of shit really. Right, okay, so the fight starts, get your resin out and give it the old shimmy sham. So when I first started this six years ago, I just attacked the legs like this. And it's like, what, 20, 40 damage ago? Not worth it. Now, what I want you to be doing is attacking his arms. Look at that, double damage. I have a feeling it's gonna get real fucking tasty, baby. No, 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 this is the most important, important part. Attack the hand holding the sword. The other hand is easier to hit because it like slumps to the side a bit, but the melee hand is super important to hit. The idea being, if you hit it enough like this, botch, look at that sunshine. Get the bundle, slap it on baby. One, two, three headshot, repost. And have you seen that damage coming out from the broken sword? It is criminal and you will be arrested for it. I I'm dead serious. But before you get arrested, I can tell you that the repost is only ever built up from hitting the melee hand. If you hit the sidearm, it will not build up a repost, which is exactly why we exclusively go for the melee hand. There are times where it wouldn't hurt just to hit the other arm, bosh like that, you know, free damage. But yeah, it's all about the melee hand. The easy peasy lemon squeeziest punish you can get is this two handed slam here. But you're gonna have to look at my position and camera angle. You can see in this clip, if we approach the slam with a very flat position, the second attack whiffs. So you really do want to get this angle. You can see here the second hit just nicks it on the backswing. You might be wondering for the repose why we use the bundle. The bundle buff actually does more damage than the resin buff, but it only lasts 15 seconds. But that's all the time I need. Especially like me and your, and your mum in bed. Oh, that's a good one. Good job, put that, put that one in. Other than that, that's it. You just keep repeating this until he goes down. Phase two does have some funky stuff like this quick attack here. You're gonna have to look out for that one. It's a quick one to dodge. And also don't worry about the flame attack here. It doesn't hurt you for some reason. And thank fucking God, because it's very hard to react to. And with enough practice, you're gonna be looking a bit like this. It's the old two one do one repose for the big finish. You see the unique death animation. You love to see it. And it's a big dub for you boss man. Now seriously, I know a lot of people just watch this and think, oh, that's really neat. But I, I seriously would like some of you guys to try this. Like, even with like a normal weapon, like a normal longsword, whatever. Because it's a really fun fight. And when you don't use the Storm Ruler, you find out there's a legitimate boss fight here. And it's just fun to see that. You know, in a game where you think you've seen it all. If you do try this, I'd honestly love to hear from you how it went. You can post a comment below or send me a picture on Twitter. I'd honestly love to see some of you have a go. Because it's not really that hard. But it sounds hard. That's the good thing. So that makes it a really good flex to say to like, like, none of your friends. Because you're a sweaty fucking nerd. Could you play Dark Souls all day? Anyway, I'd see you later, and good luck.